Hey everybody, it's Turbo David, the GoXLR guru. So today uh, I'm gonna go over kind of an advanced OBS setup for the GoXLR and showing you the ability of how to use ASIO, uh, which allows you to basically record any of the GoXLR tracks individually. Um, there is a video out there for multi-track recording where you can set uh, your your output and input sources within OBS to record, but this doesn't give you the ability to record something like your line in or your console audio because it's not a Windows device that you can actually select. So I'm going to go through today and kind of show you how you can use OBS to do this. Um, and you can actually, if you wanted to, uh, record up to like 28 individual tracks of every single input and output of the GoXLR. Uh, so, uh, there's a few requirements for this. Uh, first off, you have to be running OBS. Um, the, the plugin that I'm going to show you is only available in OBS right now. Uh, that's the only real downfall. So if you're running either XSplit or Streamlabs OBS, you would, you won't be able to use this option. So, uh, let's first, let me bring up the, uh, the, the website where you can actually download the plugin. Um, and then I'll go kind of go through the setup and show you how this is all done. So in, uh, let me bring up the website here. So the website is, uh, it's on GitHub. It's, it's, I'll make sure I link this below in the description of the video as well. So you can download it there. So once you go to the site, uh, you can actually just download the uh, OBS version. If it's your own version 24 or if you're on version 23, just download that, install it. And then once you install it, uh, when you go to sources, you'll actually be able to uh, add a source called ASIO. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that now. I'm just gonna name it ASIO. And then uh, it's gonna ask me what device I wanna use for ASIO. In this case, I'm gonna use the GoXLR ASIO driver. Uh, now notice that my format is at 7.1. So let me kind of go through and tell you why I'm gonna do, th do that. Um, if you add it in as just a, a stereo input, you only can have one channel, so a left and a right, basically. Uh, if you have 7.1, you can actually add in multiple channels within OBS. Now, this is only going to be for recording audio. So for right now, uh, I'm going to just go back and, and show you how to switch over to 7.1 version on OBS to be able to activate that. So if you go to your settings and you go to audio, in channels, you can set this to 7.1. You will have to restart OBS once you do that, but you can just go ahead and do that and, and add it in there. That, that'll give you the ability to add ASO as a 7.1 uh, configuration. So in this case, uh, let's go through and I'm gonna just gonna set up a couple different uh, channels here. I'm gonna do, let's see, I'll do my sample source of left and right. I'll do, uh, blah, 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 blah. let's see. My music. Notice in here you also have, uh, I'm gonna do sample playback because the recording is the wrong one that I added up earlier. And uh, notice you have console in here. Console is normally not accessible in, window, uh, in Windows because it's not an actual audio device. But because you're using ASIO, you can actually pull in that channel directly. The same thing with line in. Uh, if you look down here, line in, left and right, uh, you can also add that on there. So I'm going to go ahead and just add this as is and show you kind of what that looks like. Uh, da, 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 da. And I'm not sure why it did not show up properly there, but let me just check, check one thing. All right, so it's actually not working. Check, check, one, two. Okay, I've gone ahead and restarted OBS uh, just to, to make sure that it, it, it works properly. Uh, it could be because I, I didn't switch over to 7.1 previously. But notice you notice that there's multiple tracks within ASIO. So if I just play music, 
going to be at the pre-fader level if I play a sample. Oh my. There it shows up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just gonna make a quick recording of this and then I'm going to pull it into um, uh, Adobe Premiere and just to show you what it shows up for different tracks. Uh, one thing to note, uh, I did have a problem with this originally is when I recorded the sound was very, very muddy. Um, it was due to uh, in the output section under audio, I had it as audio bit rate of 160. And because uh, it was at 160, it wasn't allowing uh, the multiple tracks to be recorded at, at the true bit rate. So I just uh, I updated this to 320 and it seemed to have fixed the issue. So we're going to make a, a quick little recording here and then we'll pull it into to Adobe Premiere. Uh, in this case as well, you're going to want to go in and uh, you're going to follow the, the multi-track setup as well. Uh, that, that's out on uh, YouTube, which I can link in down below. Uh, for your audio track for streaming, it's always going to be track one. For recording, you can record all of them. It doesn't really matter in this case, uh, but you want to make sure you have multiple there. And then in the advanced audio properties uh, here, you want to make sure that uh, ASIO is on a separate track from your broadcast stream mix in this case. Um, you just want it separate so when it gets recorded, uh, you can separate that out. So it should look just like this. So I'm going to go ahead and make a quick recording. What I'll do is I'll do broadcast stream mix. I'll also do samples and music just to kind of show you the different uh, levels. So let's go ahead and start recording. And test one, two, three, four. I'm going to test music. And I'm also going to test uh, a couple samples. Tight, tight like a tiger. Wow, chicka, wow, wow. Oh my. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to open this up in Adobe Premiere. So let me go ahead and close out of this. Open up Premiere. And we're going to import that clip that we just recorded. do a new project. I'll just do uh, ASIO. And import our media. Uh, so it should be, let me make sure I have this correct. Do, 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 do. And notice now within the application, we have multiple tracks. So all the tracks that I added in ASIO uh, are now in here. So the main one would be my broadcast stream mix. Uh, in this case, LA11 and LA12 is going to be my music, and these are my samples. So they're all broken out. So if you want to uh, have it separate uh, for maybe like a YouTube video, you don't want everything from your broadcast stream mix, you can go ahead and do that. Um, if you want more than what's available within uh, OBS, uh, let me actually pull that back up again. You can also add in another ASIO input as well and add another seven devices. So technically you could have every single device on a separate channel. Um, the only thing is though, uh, they're not really marked within the app anywhere. Uh, but once you play it, you can pretty much tell which one it actually is. Uh, so like in this case, let me go ahead and play this, um, and I'll mute the broadcast stream mix and it should only play the music. And now it'll play the samples. Tight, tight like a tiger. Wow, chicka, wow, wow.
if I go back and I unmute broadcast stream mix and unmute everything else, you're going to get a mix of everything together. So this would be what your stream hears. And test one, two, three, four. I'm going to test music. And notice uh, in that recording, the broadcast remix, uh, my volume on my uh, GoXLR app, which let me just pull this up here and show you, uh, is not at 100%. So that's why you hear it at a lower level. So right now my music is around 40%. So if you kind of look at this, this is full audio because it's pre-fader and the other one is 40% because I have it turned down. Uh, same thing with samples. Uh, I think I have samples set to 65% in the app as well. So that's basically how you set up uh, the GoXLR uh, with OBS, ASIO, and being able to not be limited to how many actual tracks you can use within OBS as far as recording if you want to do a multi-track recording. Um, this really opens up the possibilities for some of those advanced users that do want to use maybe console on a separate track or line in a separate track where they couldn't do that before. You can now do that with, within ASIO uh, in OBS. Please like the video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. If you have any questions, uh, make sure you fill them out in the comments below. I will also link uh, the OBS uh, plugin below as well. Thank you for your time. This has been the GoXLR Guru, and you have a great day.